In this video, we will see how machines gain intelligence. Our objective is to learn what a data set is and how machines can understand and identify objects and algorithms. How do you think machines made of plastic and metal gain intelligence? This is possible because humans write code to give them intelligence. Most machines gain intelligence through three steps, data sets, algorithms and prediction. These three are the key components of machine learning. We will talk about algorithms later, but let us start with data sets and prediction. A data set is a collection of data that you put together. Data can include anything. We typically think of data as numbers, but it could also be a collection of text, video or images. Figure 1 shows the data of Indian freedom fighters, while figure 2 is an excel sheet. This is a student data set which shows marks gained by each student. Now the second component is prediction. What does prediction mean? How does a person make a prediction? Predictions are often made based on prior knowledge. It is part of learning and therefore intelligence. They are often based upon past experience or knowledge. Prediction is when we make and guess or estimate about something that may happen in the future based on the information we have. It is like trying to guess what might occur next. Let us conduct one short classroom activity. In this activity, we will start drawing an image on the board and the students will make an attempt to guess the image in 20 seconds. The timer can be set by any student and the other students will serve as guessers. We will start out by drawing some objects like home, a cap, a pencil, an apple, a mango or anything else the students feel comfortable in recognizing the drawing. While we are drawing, let the students make out their predictions. The timer will track how long it takes you to accurately predict the image. Sometimes we predict and make decisions about things without even thinking about it. For example, I have never had a piece of that samosa, but I like to take a bite because it looks like something I have had in the past and may like it. I won't take that road because that road has many potholes and I can't ride bicycle. Based on the past data, we can make some simple predictions about the future. For example, I like to take a piece of samosa by learning what a hot samosa looks like and then plan to eat it. We are now going to test a machine which is going to try to predict the same thing as students did on the board. This is the link for quick draw. Each of the students should follow the instructions and draw the items that they are asked to draw. Here is a short video which shows how to use Google Quick Draw. Basically, it is predicting what we are drawing on the screen. I see potato. I see hockey puck. Or bracelet. Or snowman. Or grape. I see ant. Or motorcycle. Or mosquito. Or toilet. I see watch. Sorry, I couldn't guess it. I see nose. Or potato. Oh I know, it's paper clip. I see moon. Or circle. Or shoe. Or soda can. Or balloon. I see ant. Or raccoon. 
Oh, I know. It's cat. I see ear. Or circle. Or pear. Oh, I know. It's pineapple. I see line. Or asparagus. Or hockey stick. Oh, I know. It's shovel. I see circle. I see blueberry. Oh, I know. It's stethoscope. Please refer the link for the entire video. Students will have to complete the exercise on Google Quick Draw and note how many of their doodles were Google Quick Draw able to predict the shapes that they drew. Students can visit the link for the dataset. Quick Draw software uses dataset in a very similar way to how we can we have used as our personal datasets to predict its answers. Today, we interact with many machines that use datasets to create other predictions. For example, Siri, Alexa, iPhone, YouTube, Netflix and Google search ads. We have now looked at datasets and predictions. But how does a machine take a dataset and make a pred prediction? It needs an algorithm for that.